Let's get right into it. So, have you always uh, lived in Cobb County? As uh, so far as I know, is Cumberland in Cobb County? I'm honestly not sure. Is that a city, Cumberland? I think it's a city. Huh. Well, I've always kind of just like lived in, in the area. General area. In the general area. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know uh, how your family ended up here in Cobb County? Well, my dad is from Nigeria. He just moved He moved here, went to Kennesaw State. Well, Kennesaw State College. It was in the university then. And my mom is from Louisiana. And she just went here because the Atlanta area was, like, new and exciting. So they just okay. kind of stopped here at the Did same Did your time. parents meet? They yeah, met they here? they met here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So was there a reason that both of your parents, like, ended up here? Like, did they like it for some reason or anything like that? Um, according to my mom, she didn't like it, but she decided to stick it out. I don't know why my dad came here, but he did. So I'm, like, the only person in my family who's actually born and raised here. Okay, so, that's interesting. Yeah. I was also not... I was not born here. I actually moved... I was born in Connecticut, but I was only, like, two years old. And then yeah. we moved down, like, all of the eastern coast, basically, <laughs> like, state by state. Like, then we jumped from Connecticut to North Carolina somehow. And then moved down to South Carolina and then to Georgia. And then I've been here, basically, since middle school wow. in this county, like, in the same house. For, like It's been, like, ten years almost at this point. So, yeah. Um, and we live in, like a two-story, like, standalone house. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell me a little bit about the, what kind of house, or what kind of home you live in? Uh, I've never had to describe my house before. That's all good. Um, Take your time. There's two floors and a basement, a uh, very small backyard. Uh, it's yellow. I don't know what kind of I don't know what the types of houses. Yeah, I understand. Is it it's, just it's just like a house, it's a like a two story house? house. Shape. Okay. Yeah. Is it like it's just like your family lives there, right? Yeah. It's, so it's like a standalone house. Okay. Um. So we're gonna start talking about solar adoption then. Now that we know a little bit about where you live and where you're from. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you have rooftop solar on your home? No. I don't know anyone who does, so I am not that surprised. Um. So. Since you don't, can you tell me why you don't have it? Or uh, did you make that decision, or was it made for you? It was made for me, because I was raised in that house. I don't know. We just didn't do it. Maybe because of, like, knowledge. Not really sure what it entails, so... Right. So you don't own the house. You're, like... No. You're just a non-homeowner living with your parents, I yes? I just live there, yeah. Gotcha. How long have you guys lived there? Uh, since I was... Four, so since 2002. 2002? Okay, cool. Do you know how your parents feel about solar power? I mean, I think they have like a general idea that it's a good idea, mm -hmm. but not good enough as an idea to dish what they know and do something that they don't know. Especially since I don't think they, that they know anybody for their solar panels either. So that's like a risk. Gotcha. So yeah. just kind of lack of knowledge yeah. about the subject gotcha if you personally had the option would you put rooftop solar on your home probably i mean it'll depend on like how much i make okay I tell don't... me a little bit more about why you would or would how, what how or why you would or why you would not and what you think some of the pros and cons of having it would be um i probably would sometime in the future especially since i know that Solar energy is kind of like more and more common as the years go on, so it'll probably like be a thing more people do. Um, and they last for a while; they're like twenty something years. It's like a warranty for them. Um, also, it's like the idea that it's like the sun is always going to well, as far as we're concerned, it's always yeah. going to be there. <laughs> as long um, as we're alive, probably. Yeah. And so that just means, like, you know, abundant energy all the time. Right. And so it's just, like, in the long run, it's probably a good idea, especially since fossil fuels are going to run out eventually. And it's not that great for the environment to extract fossil fuels and burn fossil fuels. So, yeah, just clean energy in general. Maybe, like, um just doing what you can. I don't really know if it would, like, make a difference if, like, 
individual people did it. Maybe more like corporations yeah. adopted it more. But yeah, gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. <laughs> so I probably would, and those are my reasons for it. It's just okay. like it's the, it's better for the earth. Gotcha. Yeah. Can you think of any um, cons why you would not want to adopt it? Cons, uh, as opposed to the expense. Other than non, yeah, yeah like non economic barriers. To uh, other than okay. Um, not sure. The expense is definitely one yeah. <laughs> that a lot of people are like, uh, it just costs a lot and we don't think about other than that. We're like, well, I guess I would have it. A lot yeah. of people are saying that. It's another con. Um, expense, but that's not when that counts. Uh, well, maybe like not ju- like not generally cons, but like cons that would matter to you more likely. Like personal cons. I don't know. I just I just overall think it's a good idea to have solar panels. So I can't really think of a con. Gotcha. I think there's a few, but like I don't know. I also yeah. agree with you. Um, I mean, there's cons to everything. I just can't think of them at the moment. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit more about solar power on rooftops in general. We're gonna look at a map of the U.S. first, and then we're going to look at a map of Georgia afterward, and if you would for me, just take your time and draw on there uh, where you think people would have the most rooftop solar energy on their homes. Like, just draw, like, an X or something? Um, however you want to label it. A lot of people like to circle, like, general areas and maybe, like, labels with some words that come to mind when they think of those areas, things like that, or you can, like, however you want to label it. I'm not sure what the weather is like in a lot of the U.S. That's okay. So. I noticed you circle a lot of, like, areas, like, smaller areas of the same states kind of thing, like, here. And, like, well, not all of California, but, like, parts of different states. Can you tell me your reasoning behind why, uh, first of all, you chose the the states that you did? Um, the states that I did, uh, well, I always considered the West Coast kind of sunny. So, there's that... Florida's the sunshine state, so I'm sure they have a lot of sun. Um, I don't know much about Alaska. I know that it's cold and it snows and stuff, but maybe they have clear weather. I don't know. Hawaii, it's an island, so they always have sun for the most part. Uh, Well, I live here, so I know that it's sunny sometimes. I don't know what it's like in the southern part of the state. Uh, Just maybe the southeast in general. They probably have the same weather. Um, I would have done like all of the west coast but I think it's just rainy up there okay so yeah oh Texas maybe I should have circled all of Texas <laughs> oh okay you didn't mean to just circle the yeah I was just like going as I did yeah gotcha I wasn't sure if you meant like well I think in particular this part of the state <laughs> is better with solar panels yeah. or whatnot. So, okay, so you didn't, like, actually mean to, like, just circle no. part of it. You are like, yeah, the whole thing. It was just kind of like, oh, gotcha. yeah, this place, maybe. I thought it was interesting that you circled, actually, Hawaii and Alaska. No one has done that yet, so I was like, cool. Oh. That's really cool. No, that's good. I just like to hear, you said just because it's sunny, or do you have, do you think of other factors that might have played in to the places that you chose? Well, I think one I read, I think I read somewhere that they have, solar stuff in Hawaii okay but I might have not maybe I'm not thinking about the same thing but maybe I don't know it's just it's sunny in Hawaii I think yeah yeah why not why not (laughs) (laughs) um I don't think it's as sunny in the New England area probably not I mean it's not as hot at least granted people have solar panels in places that aren't particularly sunny but I don't know why do you think that is? Uh, like I know they have like a big solar panel thing in like Germany I read that a while back Um, and I'm not really sure how sunny it is in Germany I think it's not always that sunny in Germany but I don't know maybe it's just like the fact that they like put in the effort to do it so they have like excess energy so it doesn't really matter if it's sunny or not I don't know I don't know much about science I understand yeah (laughs) that's okay 
Uh-huh. And also, I know that they have, like, the wind energy stuff in the Midwest. Right, right. So, it'll probably just be reserved for that. Gotcha. So, um, why do you think, um, what makes the communities that you did circle so different from the people in Cobb County, do you think? I couldn't say. Well, what about, um, something like mindset-wise? Do you think that people in these places think differently than the people in Cobb County, perhaps? Um, well, I guess the people in Cobb County are just, like, generally, like, people in the rest of the Southeast. I'm not really sure if that would count. Um, I know that, well, for, in case of California, um, they kind of do a lot of progressive types of stuff, so they probably just have, like, the mindset of, like, moving forward and doing more different types of energy stuff. So, but that's isn't the case of California. Maybe that's how it is in the whole West. I don't know. Okay. It's the desert. What about uh, Texas, then? I have no idea. Just just cuz. Just cuz. <laughs> it's there. I understand. Um, do you feel like, what about um, the people in Hawaii or Alaska, then? Um, well, to be fair, I don't know much about the people in Hawaii or Alaska. They're, like, in two different places. Um, people in Alaska probably more like people in Canada. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. Well, just, like, not, like, knowledge-based necessarily, but, like, uh, because of your experience, like, living in Cobb County for this long and knowing people from Cobb County and, like, having lived here and stuff, do you think that people in Cobb County have a certain mindset about solar power? I mean, there are a lot of people that I've met in Cobb County who, they think the idea of solar panels is good, but I think they also think about, like, the expense part of it, too. So, like, they know, like, you know, it's a good idea, it'd be good in the long run, but am I willing to, like, drop everything that I already have and then go to something that I don't, even I don't know somebody who, like, does it, so it's all, like, a risk thing. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, now that we have talked about the U.S. in general, we're going to get a little bit closer into the map of Georgia in particular. Do you know a lot about Georgia, or, like, other parts of Georgia? I have to say I don't know much about the southern part of Georgia at That's okay. All. Just okay. if you think just based on your current like knowledge and opinions um, just go ahead and do the same thing we did with the US map and draw on there anything uh, circle or label any words that come to mind uh, the places where you think that people have the most solar power on their rooftops also on the U.S. map, had you want to, if you had wanted to label any words, that is also still up for grabs. Yeah, that's it. Just there? Yeah. That's kind of funny, because that's where we live, kind of, or, like, that's part of the area we live in. Yeah, I think they have solar panel stuff in Atlanta, and if they do, that means they probably have it in surrounding areas, too. Okay. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, does UGA do do stuff related to solar panels? I think that they do. Yeah. So... If they do it, that means people probably in the surrounding areas might do it, too. I don't know if anyone does it down here. Probably not. I mean, I think, like, just, like, in general, if there's, like, a major city in your state, they're probably going to, like, do it first before everybody does it. Okay. And the further you are from, like, the city, it probably took a while for you to also adopt that. Okay. Yeah. And why do you think that the cities would adopt it first? I just know that Atlanta does solar panels. I'm not sure why they do solar panels. I mean, not like everywhere, but I know that they have some. Okay. I don't know why. It's probably just a... It could be a science thing. Gotcha. Yeah. That's interesting, though, because, like, we're so close to that area, too, and, like, neither of us know anyone. Yeah, we don't know anyone, panels. but I'm, like, I'm, a, I'm assuming. But we would think that yeah. it would be there, yeah. so, so that's really kind of strange. <laughs> so I guess, considering that is kind of the area that we live in as well, um, 
what makes people from, I guess, let's say the Athens or the Atlanta area so different from, like, the people who are in Cobb County? I don't, I'm not really sure if it would be that much different. We're not that far from them. Do you think that the community in general is different by any factors, landscape, or just, like, the people's mindsets in general, or anything, um, any factors you can think of? Maybe, like, demographic-wise, it's different. Uh, Income-wise, it could be different. I just know that, like, well, I know we're talking about this area, but, like, down here, it's, it's a lot of different counties, but not a lot of people live in them. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's more, more spread out. Gotcha. Um, but Cobb County compared to Athens and Atlanta. Uh, I think they're pretty similar. Nothing really strikes me as different when I go to either places. Okay. Do you think that the different communities would... Um consider different non-economic factors just like based on where they live or who they are i'm not sure okay i don't know and why did you think again that they would have the most solar power there in that area um mostly just like in in general big cities tend to do things first before everyone else does them I'm not, there's probably like a, like a concrete reason why that is. I'm just, I'm just not sure. Okay. I guess because like there could be like major universities like near major cities, and so if pe- people in the university they like do academic stuff, they're like scientists, and so if they say something that that's good, they come to a consensus that something is a good idea, then they probably do it. For all I know, they have like solar panels in Georgia State gotcha. or Georgia Tech. Um, okay, so now that you've considered that, um, what about most of your close friends here in Georgia? Do you, do you know of anyone who has solar on their roof, like, just in all of Georgia, not even just in Cobb County? Well, pretty much everyone I know lives in Cobb County. Okay. So. (laughs) I understand that. Yeah. Um, why do you think that is, that they wouldn't have it, or Um, that they don't have it? Well, it's like it, solar panels are an investment, but you never. But I guess people are just like not sure if it's like a good investment. It's kind of like how electric cars are a thing, but they're not extremely popular because you can always do something that's easier or that you're familiar with. So it's probably the same thing with this. It's an option, but since nobody really does it, then no, nobody really does it. So it's kind of like at a standstill. Gotcha. So you're just thinking because it's not very widespread yeah. that people like aren't if, adopting it. You have to like be the first person to do it, I guess. Like if once you do it, then a person will be like, huh, maybe that's an option. And then they'll do it and it'll spread out more. Gotcha. But if everyone's kind of waiting for the first person to do it, then it won't happen as quickly. Gotcha. Do you think that they're, that um, people you know, like... Do your friends have different opinions than their parents do about the subject? I have a friend who doesn't care much for solar power. They think that nuclear power is the better option. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I forget the reasons why. Something about lithium, but batteries. I don't know. But they prefer nuclear power. Okay. Yeah. That was just one of your friends? That's one of my friends. I'm not really sure what their parents think, but they prefer nuclear. Okay. Do um, do you have other friends who have, even if it's not, like, opinions, like, pro-solar power, do you have anyone, do you know anyone who has, like, Just are against it? it or, like, have strong opinions about solar power in general? I have, like, an uncle who's kind of of the mindset, uh, don't fix what's not broken, I guess. Like, oil and all that works pretty all right for him so he doesn't really see like the big need to change what already works that's probably what a lot of people think i mean there's the whole greenhouse gases thing and climate change but i guess if you can't physically see it with your own eyes it's not a big deal to you do you think politics plays a role at all it could because some people don't think climate change is a thing do you know people like that here um, 
if I do, I haven't actually heard them say it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Do you have, like, do you just have the feeling that they would think that way? There could, yeah, there could be some people. Gotcha. Do you know, like, um, like, people who you're really close with, do you know that they have opinions towards solar power? Like, whether they actually have an opinion or if they just, like, don't have one at all? Um, I feel like the majority of people don't really have an opinion, and if they do, it's not something that they would, like, talk about much, because it doesn't, like, because it doesn't, like, affect them much, or they don't think it's something that they would, well, they, they think it's a good idea, but they probably wouldn't do, probably just, like, for the reasons I said before, you know, it, one, it's a risk, two, if no one else is doing it, then why should I be the one to do it? Gotcha. Do you know anyone who's had, including yourself, um, any experiences relating to rooftop solar power or solar power in general? I think our environmental science teacher brought in a solar panel once just so we could like see what it looks okay. like. That's cool. So that was cool. But beyond that, I've never really seen, I don't know if I've seen, wait, once I've seen them on a, on a building. I'm not sure if it was a house. It's probably like a building. I've seen that before. I can't remember where. So that's the other place I've seen them. Gotcha. And yeah. did you have like an actual experience with it or did you have feelings toward solar power at the time or like that you think of now and think, oh, like I want this or something? I mean, it was like on a drive. So we're just like passing through. So um, I pointed it out, and then we all looked, and I was like, cool. And then we, gotcha. just, we kept on going. <laughs> That's kind of interesting that it was almost like a tourist thing, like, oh, look, there's a solar <laughs> panel. Like, it's so rare. You can't, yeah. you don't see them much. That's kind of sad, though. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Was that, like, within Georgia? That was in Georgia. Okay, cool. Yeah. Were you guys traveling somewhere? No, I think we're just... I think we're just driving i think we're trying to go somewhere and we weren't it was somewhere we hadn't gone before so we're just like looking at the directions and then we kind of took different weird routes and we saw that gotcha yeah um could you maybe outline for me some characteristics of since you only know people who don't have or who haven't adopted solar power, do you know any, like, characteristics of those people, like, in general? Um, How would you describe them? I guess I'll describe them like my environmental science teacher, because I know that she had, like, an electric car, so probably just, like, same type of person. Uh, probably know a bit about science. Oh, uh, who do adopt or who, who don't? Who do adopt. Okay. They probably have, like, a passion for it. Um... That's probably the, the main thing. I can't like see like if you're into science why you wouldn't do it, especially if you like know like the pros and how they more or less outweigh the cons of it. Right. Yeah. Do you think people who are not necessarily interested in um, solar power would go through the trouble of looking at pros and cons? Probably not. Oh, okay. I, yeah. mean, I mean, like, <laughs> that makes sense. if you're, like, if you pretty much have the idea that you're against something, you're, gonna, you're probably just going to stay against something, especially if you think it's, like, the right idea. Yeah. You wouldn't, like, probably go through the efforts to try and find out, oh, so what are actually the pros and cons? That's true. What about people who don't have an opinion about it? Do you think I feel they like people would go? Who, yeah, I feel like people who don't have an opinion are more willing to... Um, see the pros and cons of something, especially if they don't really have, like, um, like a really strong stance one way or the other. Gotcha. What about uh, characteristics of people who don't adopt in the state? Whether it be, like, just, like, not people who are necessarily against it, but even people like you and me who just don't have it. I guess, like, a domino effect. You know, if one person does it, more people will do it. But I guess, it's, you know, they, they don't really want to, like, change what they know, I guess. Like, they know it's a good idea as a concept. But I guess since nobody really sees solar panels, at least where I live, mm -hmm. um, it's not like they can, like, you know, see it in action. Right. They know what they know from, like, newspapers or the news or something. 
Right. So it's kind of like an out of sight, out of mind kind yeah. of thing. It's kind of like an abstract concept. I've never seen um, one of those windmill wind turbines yeah, yeah. things. I've never seen one of those in real life. Yeah. Neither so. have I. <laughs> So, I think maybe passing through yeah. somewhere. So I guess like people who don't see solar panels, they don't really think about it as often. Like I don't really think of wind turbines as often. Right, that's true. I never see it, so I never think about it. So people are probably like, you know, that's a good concept, but they don't really think about it after the fact. Right, but do you think that people who live in conditions that would have like for certain alternative energies, like people who would live near places where it's windy like would think of wind turbines more or like people who live places where it would be beneficial to have solar panels would think of it more in gen- like that particular energy in general probably I guess like if you live in a place with wind turbines of course you're gonna like say of, of, of course you're gonna like think that like that's a thing that people do and it's better for the environment because it's always windy wherever they are um or like people who like live near places do hydropower because they like maybe like live near a coast. I guess if like you think something's gonna be a good idea, you might consider it more. I don't know. Gotcha. Um, do you know any more reasons why you think that people in Georgia would be reluctant to implement changes here, like? in relation to solar power? It could just be a stereotype, but I just think that people in the South are reluctant to change really anything. I mean, Cobb County could have the MARTA system, for example, but since we don't, we don't really want to change it. So, yeah. If something works, or even if it doesn't work, if it's just been like that, I mean, there's not going to be a lot of people who put in the effort to, like, um, make it different or something. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's a source to that mindset? I, Just, like, historically, I guess, or something like that? I don't know. Okay. Just, like, people seem, yeah, people seem reluctant to change here, and I yeah. don't know what that's about. I guess it's going <laughs> to be like, well, if, if it worked for my parents, it'll work for you. Kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Do you think it's a result of people just being, like, less open-minded? Or is Maybe. it more of a thing where, like, people don't care as much? It or? could just be, like, a traditionalist thing. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Were there any particular reasons that um, you or your parents did not adopt solar power on your rooftop? Is that just um, that they weren't informed or something like that? It could just be like they weren't informed. Also, it's like the first house they moved into together. Gotcha. So, oh, so you're still living in the same house? The We're still whole living time. in the same house. Before it was an apartment, and I don't think that was even a concept in 2002. It's Maybe like, not, hey, we yeah. should do solar panels. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. But they didn't think about it, like, throughout the course of living there? Throughout the there. course that we were living there, they probably just still never, like, really considered it. 